Now I come back to here. I take the dribble. Why? Those who have a copy of my book, in the book it says the toughest thing to do in jump shooting is to get in the air as you start out, to get off the ground. Do I jump out of the gym? No. Do I jump real low? Up to you. But getting in the air in the comfort zone where you're not fading away, you're not tilting to the left, you're not tilting to the right, and you're not tilting too much in the front to the, towards the basket. So what's this dribble do? This dribble, like a pogo stick, helps me get in the air. I don't have to worry about lifting the ball all the time because I'm already, as I drill it, now look now, I take the dribble right off of my hip. Why? Because when I lay it down off of my hip and I pick it up in slow motion, my elbow's already underneath the basketball. Again, I'm going to step for power. I'm going to step for power. And look at the dribble now. Look at the dribble. There's my tempo dribble. It's right off of my hip. You notice, I don't take the dribble too far out in the front. If I do, I have a tendency to go get it with my head and shoulders. Why do I take it right off of my hip? Because when I pick the basketball up, my elbow is already underneath the basketball. Let's do that again. Step. I go right into my shot. I come out, I take the step, and I raise the shot. I teach players there's a lot of power in this basketball. And that's why the dribble starts out. The dribble helps you get in the air. One of the most difficult things for young players and players who are trying to recorrect their shot is to get in the air. Anything that can help you get in the air increases your ability to shoot the basketball more quickly and more accurately.